SHOT Show 2015 at the Emerson booth with the man himself, Ernie. How you doing, sir? I'm doing really good. Thanks good for stopping by. Well, thank you for taking some time to talk to me about some new product here. Well, I haven't been here for two years, so I am excited, and I do have some new products this year. So this is a this is serendipitous that we're here together. So this is cool. Well, and as we were just talking about a few minutes ago, actually more than a few minutes ago, yep. but as we were just talking about it, it's a little serendipitous because of uh, uh, an initial conversation that we had uh, a few a few moons back. Yeah. So more than and, a few and I gotta moons. say, and I, yeah, and I gotta say, <laughs> large kudos. This is uh, such an improvement. <laughs> An improvement the card table? And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've graduated from card tables to where we're at now. So exactly. It's been a been a roller coaster ride, but it's been fun and you know, like anything else, if you're at the helm, that makes it all the sweeter or all the more bittersweet, but at least you're in control of it. That's that's the gift of being able to do the things you want to do. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I've got a couple things to show you. Uh, I'm proud of this knife. This is a this is our first what I would call heavy duty fixed blade knife. It's called the Government Mule, which I thought was an appropriate uh, name for it. And uh, it's got about a 3/16 inch blade with a real heavy front end, being a spear point and uh, micarta handles and all that. So real simple and plain, but I think this will be uh, a knife that a lot of guys could use if they're in a hard use environment. So oh yeah, how thick is this knife? It's about 3 16 190, uh, 190 thousandths and all that. And it's just uh, got bolt-on handles. It's very simple. Uh, it's got a good, good feel to it. So, you know, we're gonna... Bolt-on handles with uh, straight uh, screwdriver yeah. slots, so very easy to access. And uh, what is the steel on this? It's 154 cm. That's our standard steel. We're we're still very happy with it. So, so sticking uh, with that and, and basically yeah. pressing forward. Yes, absolutely. But I have to show you what I'm proud of this knife. But I got to show you a couple knives I'm really proud of. Okay, uh, and very quickly too, Ernie. Yeah. Uh, if if you can mention it, and if not, yeah. just let me know. What's the price point on that particular knife? Uh, or a rough, a rough uh, estimate, uh, uh, or just don't say anything at all. It's almost three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. It's, I think it's right under three hundred dollars. Okay. And uh, because I have my family now who runs the show, the business, and everything, asking me prices and things <laughs> like that, I don't really even know some of the prices anymore. But it's it's just under three hundred. Sure, sure, sure. And obviously they can contact appropriate personnel at, oh, your, at your office or your yeah, at the factory that, yeah. to get into the, the details. And I'm sure it'll be posted at your website and yeah. it'll be readily available very soon. Yeah, you can just go to the website at, of course, emersonize.com and uh, all that stuff will be up. All our new models will be up and they're ready to deliver. Uh, so we came to the SHOT Show this year prepared. Oh, beautiful. Uh, where it isn't like, well, you can order, but it's going to be six months. They're here, they're in stock, they're ready to go. So if it's on the website, it, that means it's in stock right at that moment. So it's not like you have much of a challenge getting knives out right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's like everything else. It seems like everything's a challenge these days, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The gear challenge for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, wow, well, let's not even go there. <laughs> Here's the ones I want to really make sure you guys get uh, uh, made aware of. I hope that all of you who are seeing this have heard of a gentleman called Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman. Uh, he is probably one of the most brilliant men uh, that's alive today who can talk about the stress of combat, the effects of combat preparation for combat. He's, he's in demand all over the world from police agencies, military groups. I know he goes and gives uh, the send-off uh, lectures to a lot of teams that are deploying uh, the next day to combat zones and all that. So this, this is who David Grossman is, is known to and respected by. And I've always, I've been to a couple of his lectures and all that, and I thought, oh my god, this guy is I mean, he's a hero. He's brilliant. He's, he's brilliant. He's brilliant, and uh, you, you really almost can't say enough about him. He had me standing on my chair, clapping, sitting in my chair with tears rolling down my face. I mean, it's it's that much of a is that kind of an impact on me. Well, and his writing is very uh, uh, introspective and, and very, you know, he can very, put uh, things. He can he can put things into words that a lot of people ruminate on and have floating around up there. But he's been able to make it so that you and I can understand it keep it in our hands too. So so you can understand what you've been feeling all of these years. <laughs> so having said all of that, I want everybody to know that's how I see 
my view of David Grossman is like a hero to me. Lo and behold, we get an email, Dear Mr. Emerson, this is Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman, I would like to work with you on making some knives for, for me and for the people that I talk to and the, and the people that follow what I have to say. I think we can do a good job of coming up with a good knife. And I think that it, it, you're just saying this to me, you're the appropriate person for me to have this conversation with. And I'm going, wait a minute, is this, is this really David Grossman? I, mean, <laughs> I don't believe this. This is like a, this is like Babe Ruth coming in and trying to teach you how to hit a baseball. I mean, right, right. I you're checking caller that. ID and, and yeah. getting ready to hang up the phone. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, are, so we're talking about it's a collaboration with David Grossman. He he specked out the knife. He said, Ernie, I needed to have these features on it. It's the first knife that we've ever made uh, that has a flipper on it. Let me get positioned so you can yeah, yeah. see it. So there's the flipper. Also, the knife has a... Uh, now, is that assisted opening? Negative. It's uh, He didn't want the assisted opening because, like everything else, the more complex something gets, in a high stress environment, the more likely it is to. And I'm just break asking because I've not yet seen either one of these knives. And when you just uh, flip that knife out, it was it looked very smooth, and it almost looked like an assisted opening knife. Not a really forceful one, but still, it looked very much like one. Well, it's it's the, there's a couple reasons. We we this is the, also the first knife that we actually put a bearing system in. We've used washers as bearings in the past, but in order to make the um, the flipper work in a correct manner. Uh, you need to have bearings because it has to be almost frictionless and smooth when it when it comes out because of course the, the key to the flipper is that it has to have a strong detent so it's not going to fall out uh, of the blade but you have to overcome that detent boom and the knife flips open so this this is a, a triple play knife for us it has a wave opening feature it has the flipper it has the button so you can open it and on top of that it's I'm working with a guy that I've regarded as one of my heroes for the last 15 or 20 years, and now we're making a knife for him. So I want everybody to be aware that Emerson Knives now has a flipper, and it's the official knife of Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman, his sheepdog uh, gun and knife uh, project that he's working on. And so life is very good. It's beautiful. Real good for us right now, and we're in a real good place. So. Phenomenal. Now, will you be distributing this knife as well, or will this be strictly going through Mr. Grossman? It's going to Colonel get, Grossman. Yeah. This this knife is going to make it to the end user, the customer, in any way that it possibly can. Uh, we will sell it direct. We will sell it to the dealers, so that it will be in the stores. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman also is going to be. Uh, having the knives available through his website and in person when he goes to some of his lectures and things like that. He'll have a, he'll have a small uh, amount of them for distribution. I'm sure, scale. yeah, yeah, exactly. So our goal and his goal was let's get these hands in the knives of the guys that are actually going to use them. Uh, and since they now have his endorsement and he is he was integral in the design and everything, uh, it's signed, sealed, and delivered. His daughter, in-law, and son were here this morning, and they said he's, he's elated with the knife. So... No, here we are. It's a happy, happy day for me. Beautiful. That's fantastic. I'm very honored. Fantastic. Well, listen. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Is there anything in the works? Maybe perhaps a, a prototype that we might be looking for? Well, there's one thing. It doesn't have to do with knives. Uh, but we we now have a, uh, a child's backpack line, and this is a standard child's backpack. But uh, it looks like it's a little rigid to me. It's a little rigid. <laughs> When you open it up, and again, these are 100% made in the USA, like all of our stuff is. When you open it up, there is a... It's an awfully thin water bladder. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the pistol plate that goes inside. Beautiful. And... Uh, what is that rated for? This is rated as a level 3A, which will stop everything up to a 44 Magnum, I believe, pistol round. Won't, right. stop, a, won't stop a rifle round. Right, right, right. But handgun cartridges uh, would... Uh, yep. would it would have protection for handgun hand hand cartridges. And so, the plate is made by United uh, Shield International. Yep. And uh, very good. We're, we're working with the And that's a full size plate. That covers oh, yeah. the entire, um, yeah, the entire uh, back. Yeah. yeah, the foundation. I was trying to think of what to call the back of that yeah. backpack. But it covers your, basically, a, especially a child, up to about a good 10 year old, maybe even a 12 year old. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, my son's 13 and he wears his every single day. And I, I'm, I'm glad he does because. Unfortunately, the sad fact that 
violence can now be done upon our children here in the United States, that's a possibility. And I just want to be sure that, that anything we can do to stop a parent from having a, a tragedy is something that I'm 100% right. Well, and quite frankly, I know you've got this, you, you know, you mentioned it as a child's backpack, but the size of the plate makes it uh, very easy to put it into like a day bag, yep. uh, you know, a, a gear bag for, for most adults. and. It obviously protects the back, but you know it's very easy to slip a backpack off and to hold it up if you yeah. see a threat, you know, in the front or what have you. Or even to yeah. flip it around as an improvised chest yeah. plate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if you've got a now, does the does the bag itself have a, a waistband? Okay, so there's not a yeah, there's no. not a waistband, <laughs> but you could still slip it with the with the cur with the curvature of, of the uh, shoulder straps. Yep. That could still be like I said, flipped around yep. to the front and kind of an improvised uh, front plate carrier. Front plate carrier, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is that uh, again, we made this. We had to make it so that it's something a child would use. Right. Uh, we could have made it uh, with some other bells and whistles, but that's not appropriate for a kid's backpack because really they're. They're very style conscious. If Absolutely. You will. And this is a this is a, a pack that has Thank the you, things that, that my kids have used over the years. And we researched it with all the other styles of Quicksilver and all of those names that are kids uh, brands. If right. You will. And so this is what we developed. But you mentioned the adult adult backpacks are on the way. Okay, good. We're in the middle of developing. Those Quick right question: now. What would the weight be on this empty but with the plate in place? Um, and if you're not positive, you can just give me a rough estimate. Well, I'll tell you what. This this plate weighs less than a pound. I think it's 13 ounces. Oh yeah, this this yeah. plate is definitely less than a pound. Yeah. yeah. So this backpack is, is probably it would be yeah. just a standard weight of a typical yeah. nylon type backpack. It can't be more than a pound or a pound and a half. And I can't help but notice that you've got you know the extra safety feature is uh, looks to me like it's reflectorized uh, tape. tape. <laughs> you got it on both sides. There you go. Yeah. So well, you got to give you know if. <laughs> If the little guy's gonna run, you gotta give the give the, the bad guy a it's, little bit of an edge. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's, I take my kids to school, sir. I, my son, he starts at uh, a little bit after six o'clock in the morning. It's still dark out. Yeah. So when he's walking over to the bus and everything, you know, I can see the reflective tape on his and if, back. And if he's got late, uh, late schedule activities, oh, yeah. he's gonna be coming home in the dark too. So, now, in, very quickly, again, about the backpack, is there any, um, and again, I don't want, I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything, but is there any possibility of not having the Emerson label on it, or is there a possibility that you might do some uh, uh, licensing with actual other brands that say a teenager or a young, uh, uh, I don't want to say a young, well, a yeah, young teenager young or an older child yeah, yeah. would probably College be, kid, let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or even say a, you know, a, a fourth grader or a fifth grader would be maybe a little more inclined to wear. Yes, the answer to, is that is yes to all of the above. Okay. This is something that we've just are starting. Uh, well, and so, I didn't even know about this when I when I asked no, you if you had I, I prototypes you or something. Yeah. I, I had no idea what you were going to put. I thought you were going to pull out a tray of uh, prototype knives or something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, everything's in the infancy stage of yes, this project. Is. And uh, my thoughts are is that you know a lot of us know what the Emerson label and name means. And there's a lot of bad guys that also know what that means. Yeah, and do. so, uh, and I'm thinking in terms of, you know, a little bit of uh, yeah. uh, concealment. I know, you know where you're going. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, so some things are in the works. To be misused. Absolutely. Like or to be misidentified. You know, some guy yeah. sees that and he's a bad character. His first thought is, oh, there's a plate in there. So, yeah, yeah. So a lot of put, a lot of potential in the in the offing. As far as the labeling and all that, we can do whatever we want. They can Beautiful. be generic. They can be uh, unlabeled. They can be blank. They can be. Uh, they can have our labels on them and all that. We're we're wide open. Whatever it takes to be able to get these things to people to have for their children. Now, I'll be real frank with you. This isn't a backpack that a kid is going. To, this isn't a backpack. Yeah that a child is going to go and buy at a store. Right. This has to be a, a pack combination bought by an adult because right. they are expensive. They're going to be about $259 as a total package. So a little under $300 yeah. as an estimate. The plate by itself is $199. Well, and, and a child isn't going to be able to buy a plate anyhow. You know. Not so, at all. But anyway, and if you got a child, if you got a ten-year-old buying a three hundred dollar plate uh, <laughs> carrier, I think we got to have a little talk with him. <laughs> he might be thinking way ahead, or who knows? Yeah. <laughs> well, very good.
good. Well, listen, Ernie, um, anything else you'd like to mention for right now? No, that, that's it. I just wanted to uh, make you guys aware of that. And, uh, I really appreciate it. We're having it. a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Your people, as usual, are doing an outstanding job. Kane is just kicking, uh, you know, kicking, uh, kicking well, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. He's, doing, he's doing very well. Let's, Let's put it that names. way. names. We'll say that. And I'll be talking to you here in the next, uh, hopefully, in the next few months. We'll do a little visit. Let's, and, let's talk about the history of the company. I think there's some stories I, in there. Well, I tell you what, I, I, that's what, before we started this, uh, that's what we were talking about, and, and uh, it's something I think I'd really like to do. Very good. Thank you. You have a good trip home. I know you got a long trip ahead of you. You know, be careful of those uh, those airline interchanges and, and, the, and the layovers. <laughs> take care, brother. As long as they have a bar. <laughs> yeah. Take care, brother. Thank you. Thank you.